So this is the Acer Predator Triton 300 SE. A portable laptop that you can take anywhere and play everywhere. Tech and a very quick disclaimer before I start, Acer UK did send me the Triton 300 SE to have a play with but they have not seen the video or any other content before you guys and as you know all opinions are my own. Now Acer told me this is an all around laptop, you can game, you can edit, you can stream, you can use take it to the office, you can use it for anything. Because it's fully packed with an Intel i7 11375H with a base clock of 3.3 gigahertz and a maximum turbo of 4.3 gigahertz in all cores. 16 gigabytes of DDR4 3200 megahertz an RTX 3060 that will boost up to 1382 MHz Wi-Fi 6AX, a 144Hz Full HD IPS screen, fast PCI storage and a massive state-of-the-art cooling solution inside. And yes, all this in a super light 14 inch laptop coming at 1.7 kilograms or 3.7 pounds. And before I start talking about performance, what is the price you will be asking? So for this model here is 12.99 British pounds or 15.99 US dollars. And I will be leaving a link down below for this particular model. And of course a 12 gem model that they got as well that they look. Acer is calling this a sleeper because once you close it up, it's just a silver playing old laptop and I will feel more than comfortable getting this out in a coffee bar or in any public transport without looking out of place. No massive coolers through the back, no color accents screaming gaming like everywhere. I just look a very common laptop with very slim bezels all around. All right, flexible screen as well. And one thing about this screen and this combination, you can fully tilt it back 180 degrees in case you want to dock it or something and you got an extra screen there plus a secondary screen with you and you can use all the horsepower of this single laptop for that. But below the screen we have a turbo button, more than in just a minute, a full track with the fingerprint sensor and a slim 65% keyboard that pair with the Predator Sense app you can change all the colors and different lighting effects plus many other cool stuff like temperature monitoring, fun curves, game synchronizing features, efficiency mode monitoring and plenty more in the OEM Predator Sense app that is all reachable at the click or button. Now for connectivity, starting from the right side we got a microphone headphone combo, one USB type A 3.2 Gen 2 and a full size HDMI port. In the left hand side we got a DC charging port and a USB Type-A again 3.2 Gen 2 and a single USB Type-C 3.2 Gen 2 with transfers up to 30 gigabytes per second and compatible with any display over USB Thunderbolt 4 and if you got a USB-C charger that is capable to deliver 20 volts 65 watts you can use that one as well and set to use the the barrel plug that come with you. You can use the USB-C 12 for, for charging. Now for the size of the laptop and um, who the laptop is aimed for, those gamers are productivity as well. I really wish that they do have this space. So I really wish it had a, a full SD card and maybe an RJ45 if you are that type of person that you like to dock it all the time, the office or at home and you want a fast connection but it does got Wi-Fi 6 AX, so that's plenty of fast, to be honest. Now, moving towards the screen, this is a 14-inch screen with 144 hertz, full HD, with an IPS panel delivering 250 nits of brightness that I have found more than comfortable to be playing outdoors, to be honest. And if 14 inch is not your size, Acer also have a higher model with a 16-inch screen, 240 hertz display, but with an Intel 12th gen and RTX 3070 
Ti. Now, this 14 inch here is powerful enough with a Intel 11th generation i7, and I have done some benchmarks, so I'm gonna just get my scores here. Cinebench R15, this came on 925 points in multi core and 201 points in single core, and for Geekbench, was 1390 in single core and 4944 in multi core. I know that peaking at 2.3 gigahertz in all cores and 97 degrees Celsius in their CPU package. And for the graphics, again, if you're looking for raw performance, go for the 16 inch model with a 3070 Ti on it. This one here, 14 inch, come with a 3060 that have provides some stunning graphics, very good FPS, very good playability, playing charger or playing for the battery. So let's jump into games and let's talk numbers. Starting with Spider-Man, that remaster, all graphics are high. I was looking for 63 FPS with a maximum of 74C in the GPU and 93C on the CPU. Forza Horizon 5, probably the best arcade gaming and probably my favorite arcade racing gaming out there. Again, everything high. So we're looking about 71 <laughs> FPS, 63 degrees on the GPU and 78 degrees on the CPU. And for Shadow of the Tomb Raider, was super smooth as well with similar temperatures, 72 FPS, 69 degrees on the GPU and 75 degrees on the CPU. And take note, this was with an auto fan curve on and OBS running on the background to do some screen captures. And with all this power, I knew I was gonna have some overheating issues and some to toasty hands when, you, when you're playing with keyboard and mouse. And for my surprise, I didn't. Because you are cooled down by a huge fifth generation Aeroblade technology and a Vortex cooling system. Meaning that this will suck air through these two fans that they got out here, this massive grill will suck all the fresh in from the table, fresh air in from the top grid as well up here, and it will be extracted all that whole air from the sides down here. And that give you a really, really good cooling solution. And if you need anything more, press the turbo mode, that will kick it into maximum settings. And now that sound like a jet engine. Stand back down. Auto fun curves, thank you very much. But again, still for the 14 inch laptop, loads of raw performance with a 11 gen Intel i7 and a RTX 3060 inside this 14 inch packet that is probably more powerful than my main system down there and I say probably because it, it is more powerful than my main system. Now. That wins just because it got 20,000 fans inside but it's this is a beast. So what do you think would you go for the Acer Predator 300 SE 14 inch version or would you go for the 16 inch version for that maximum raw performance for your daily driver just let me know down below, please. And if you want more information or where to buy, I will be leaving links down below for the official website, for the Amazon store, for the 14 inch model and the 16 inch model as well. So just check that in the video description down below. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video and you're looking for any suggestions, why not click up here for my latest headphone reviews or down here for episode one of gadgets that belong to the world. And don't forget to go down below and subscribe. But thanks for watching, have a great day, adios.